Younger, what was your mindset going into that match? Obviously, you came out firing and kept going the whole match. So you know, I like uh, all hold this week. You know, I've been like getting ready for this matchup. So my mentality is go out there and get takedowns. You know, that's my mentality, and make it hard for my opponent. So that was my mentality. What goes through your mind when you get that double leg, pick him up, and then you're able to put him down? <coughs> like when you have him lifted up in the air, what's going through your mind in that moment? So nothing. Just you know. I'm coming for a freestyle background, and the only thing that we do is that you try to pick you up to get the four points on the back. So that's just you know the freestyle style. So yeah, it's freestyle. First in that, time going oh, on sorry. There. Are you good? In that moment, did you get a sense of kind of he didn't want any part of that match at that point? So what do you mean? Can you repeat you the question? Kind of didn't take any shots. I mean, at that moment, did you feel like okay, I've got this guy? No, yeah, yeah. You know, he he's a guy that he doesn't shoot at all. You know. The last two matches, he just went by like a point or something like that. He just tried to keep it close. Just my mentality was, I gotta risk it, you know? I gotta be the one risking opportunity. So I just went there and take my, my chance, you know? How does it feel to be undefeated to close out the dual season? <laughs> it feels super, super good. Uh, my boy, uh, David, he can, he can tell you about it. He happened there, you know, feels great. But now we are zero and zero, you know? We're going to the big 12 now and the national. So it feels like, Feels great, you know. Before this season, that this was my goal. You go undefeated for year long, for the, the whole year long. Um, Zach Elam is pretty good on top. You chose bottom right, but was there any doubt in your mind that you're going to choose not top nah, bottom? We have been working, you know. I've been along like this is my four years, so I'm going to pick battle with everybody. So uh, there wasn't any any doubt about it. What's your message to your opponents heading into the postseason? A message? Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, has, I said on trust and trust it, right? I, I told you, they, they have to try to survive, you know? I'm going there, I'm gonna kick your butt. <laughs> David, it, it looked like you were more excited for Younger's match than, than anything else today, even though it was your last at home to close out a perfect uh, mark, you know, dual meet mark. What was it like watching him? I, he had a camera out, and the flashlight <laughs> on him. I mean, it, just can you describe that moment? Yeah, it was special. I mean, it's my last duel at Hilton, but it's also my last duel with uh, Younger. And so, you know, a lot of emotions uh, run because I see him work hard. I've, I've been with him this whole time. And so it was closing my chapter, but it's also my last time being on the team with him. So I really, um, we have a special bond. And uh, all week I've been telling him, like, dude, nobody can stop you. Your pace is incredible. Like, none of these guys think your, your wrestling is at such a high level. And you got to see it for yourself of his his dominance on his feet, on the bottom. Um, I, I got to watch Dresser kind of work some specific things for this guy, and he, he literally executed like it was drilling. And he, he, he's so focused, he's so dialed in. And so to see him cap off a perfect dual season record, the perfect uh, record right now, and going into the postseason, that's it's really awesome. It's really special to see. Thanks, David. David, what were the emotions like for you um, wrestling your match, your last match in Hilton at the end of that match? It was super special, super emotional. Um, a lot of thanks go out to the fans that showed up. Um, I don't know if we've ever done a whiteout before, but that was sweet. You guys got to do that again. That was an awesome job on marketing. Um, the whiteout was sweet to look around and just see how many fans were there and everyone on their feet. It was just super special. Um, I couldn't have thought of a better way to go out, especially with just the dresser to dump, just paying homage to dresser and uh, to finish off a, a cycle of career with the dual season. Is that a plan to give a little side to the bat almost? Or was that just in the moment got spurred? I honestly can't even take credit for that. I, uh, Trent Hidley from uh, NC State signed the mat, and he was just kind of thinking like leaving his legacy because it was his last dual match. And I was like, that is so cool. So I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and just sign it real quick. <laughs> so I saw him do it. I thought that was really special. And uh, yeah, so I just, yeah. I know it's so early, but I mean, what is your reflections upon your legacy here at Hilton, considering you finished undefeated? Yeah, uh, it's cool to be able to look back at my career and know that you know I never lost a single dual meet, and it's cool to see that you know when I got here we were ranked maybe like forty something, and now we're I mean we're top five in the country, <coughs> and uh, it's cool to see how many young guys are coming and crushing at Iowa State. So. I think just it's been awesome just to see how cool, like how big the the wrestling fans have been. Like the fans were awesome. They showed out. 
I remember my first duel here, it definitely was not that packed and that loud. And for my last duel, how packed and how loud and everyone wearing the white, it was just something special. And uh, it's hard to put into words, but it's been really special. David, I know originally you anticipated facing O'Toole again in your final duel meet match in Hilton. When did you find out that that wasn't going to be the case and, and, and how, I guess, disappointing was it that you didn't get a shot? You'll get more shots at him, but, you know, not in the, on this stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I was expecting to wrestle him. Kind of the weigh-in, you know, once he didn't show up for the weigh-in, I kind of knew that he wasn't wrestling. Um, that's kind of who I was kind of preparing for all week, but uh, I think it was good. I think just even me getting mentally ready to wrestle and, and prepare was really good. And, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll get to wrestle him at the Big 12s, so. Um, I'm excited for that opportunity and uh, excited to keep moving forward. David, your dad always goes down to the mat to watch your match specifically. What has it meant to you to be able to have your dad with you in the training room and then having him down there? And then, you know, on thir Thursday, you brought up the singlet and you got to finish out in that specific block I at Hilton. You know, what's that element been like for you? Yeah, I mean, my dad's my hero. He's someone I look up to not even just for wrestling. I mean, if you look at his career, three-time national champ, he's able to get a college degree and win a lot of big 12 titles or big eight titles. And so someone I look up to wrestling-wise, but as a man, as a father, as someone who um, believes in Jesus, as someone who um, is so humble and someone who always wants the best for me. So I, I, I strive to be like him, not even just as a wrestler, but as a man, because I really look up to how he holds himself how he carries himself, how he treats our family, how he treats everyone that he interacts with. And so it's special to have um, him watch every match. It's special to have him give me wisdom and discernment on things of wrestling and things of faith. So it's definitely been super special to have him. And then as you guys close it out, you know, as a leader, what is your message to your team as you guys prepare for the, you know, the most important matches of the season? So a message, you know, they are ready. The whole thing is ready to go get a, go get a title on the Big 12 and, and, and get a trophy in the NCAs. So everybody's ready. Yeah, just super focused. I think we're ready. And uh, I'm ready to see Dresser dye his hair blonde. I mean, I want to win <laughs> yeah. the Big 12 title. We want to win. And uh, I want to see Dresser's hair blonde. I want to see St. John's hair blonde. Metcalf, everybody. If Dresser does it, they all got it. <laughs> <laughs> My dad. So we win a Big 12 title. You're gonna see a lot of blonde heads in Ames. All right, that's that's the deal. Um, you guys holding to it. We'll be holding to it. Yeah. Yo, I want to ask. I mean, David mentioned it. Dresser mentioned it. That when David got here, it was like ranked low, and then now you guys are here. I mean, how much do you think David's been a, a part of that, bringing the culture up? And Man, you know, he, he's the like the first national champ since Kai Griffin mm -hmm. he were. So, you know, he he like he, he kinda like uh, recruit me too. <laughs> 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 you know, I I met him at the uh awards in two thousand nineteen and then, you know, I, I kinda like sent a message to him and I say, you know, I, I kinda wanna go over there. So he, he went like man, his legacy uh, I would say is something incredible, his father too, so he's the man. <laughs> he's the man. Awesome. Thanks, guys.